New York nurses strike. So about two of the biggest hospitals in New York City, uh, a bunch of nurses, you know, walked out. They on strike. They're not getting what they're asking for. They're not even getting close to what they're asking for. So a part of me don't blame them. Yeah. During the whole pandemic, you know, they had the nurses on the front line and then, you know, they wanted to fire a bunch of them for not doing X, Y, right. and Z. Right. And now it's like, they come back, they let them in. They, a lot of them got rehired because I don't know about other cities, but in New York, they, they made it a thing where if you got fired because you didn't take the shot, the companies have to rehire you. And in some cases reimburse you for the time that you off. Right. Let's go over here to Good Day New York and uh, check out what they have to say about it. Negotiations aimed at averting a nurses strike at two New York City hospitals have stalled, which means 7,000 nurses from Mount Sinai Hospital and Montefiore Medical Center are walking off the job this morning. Mount Sinai offered its nurses a 19% wage increase over the next three years or an additional $51,000 in cash for each nurse, plus $19,500 in medical payment benefits. In the Bronx, Montefiore offered an identical raise and a commitment to create more more than 170 new nursing positions. But Nisna struck down both of those offers. So you're gonna have a shortage of staffing if the pay is not adequate to meet people's needs. So uh, why would someone go into a field where they're not getting paid what they feel? So to me, those two problems can solve each other. If you raise the pay, then you'll probably get more people to come, number one. Number two, the Montefiore Hospital said that they were making a commitment to add 170 additional nursing spots. Why? Y'all want to have a, a, a thousand nurses that's not there? You already got 760 that's unfilled. You want to add more? The state is willing to give these hospitals X amount of dollars, right? But the thing is, will the hospitals, uh, you know, will the hospitals delegate the, these funds in the right way? And that's the problem. That's the problem a lot of people are having. I think some of it also speaks to just the general inflation in the economy right now. When someone tells you that a 19% pay increase is not enough. I really hope they get what they need because not for nothing, in my opinion, nurses do more than doctors. So really? without, without the nurses, I mean, you're basically just getting a pill machine that's just ready to feed you. I totally agree, man. Nurses, nurses, teachers, shit like that, like yeah. they, they should be tripled. They did give them an offer and they refused it. They were like, nah, we good. That's, that's why I was like, in this case, it's like, I agree that they deserve, I mean, when somebody offer you a 19% well, wage increase, that seems like we should at least consider that shit. Well, now the, the, the nurses and the union or whoever the rep is, oh, excuse me, the, the nurses and the reps realize that they have the hospitals back against the wall. So now they can pretty much go for the gusto. You know what I mean? Go for right. the, don't ever accept the first offer. That's 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 the first rule of business. Oh, yeah, I, under, I understand that. I'm saying it's hard for you to garner sympathy in the court of public opinion yeah, when right. someone can come back and say, I gave you I offered you 19 month bucket. For, it's hard for you to be like, man, I feel sorry for 19 percent. Wait a minute. Like, yeah. The nurses aren't the only people who are walking out. Apparently, the company Uber, which is well known all across America and in some other countries, they're actually facing a similar problem. Ken, good morning. I have some bad news. If you're planning to take an Uber or Lyft today, expect to pay more, about 7% more per minute and 16% more per mile. Now, these rate hikes were supposed to include a raise for drivers, but at least for now, that is not happening. And so today, some Uber drivers are staging a protest. They're going to start here under the BQE and then travel across the Brooklyn Bridge. That's after Uber sued to stop these special mid-year pay raises, which were approved by the Taxi and Limousine Commission, citing inflation and high gas prices. A judge issued a temporary freeze on the pay raises until this can be heard in court on January 31st. Yeah, you see, I mean, money problems are happening all over New York City. They're, they're raising the prices of everything and they're really not, uh, you know, considering the wages that are happening out here. Then they're really not considering the average home. What I think is happening here is they want to and i've heard talks of this they want to kind of get rid of the middle class so either you're poor or you're rich rich right my two cents is i, I found it interesting this is why i love doing this podcast with you because we'll see 
two different things watching the same. The banner said New York taxi workers are encouraging Uber to, of course y'all encouraging me to take a strike because we competition. Yeah. It's like the Jets going to the Giants, like, man, y'all shouldn't even play no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so uh, that's that to me, I thought that was kind of funny. As far as um, Uber, I feel like like the whole concept of Uber was one of the most genius things that the, that people haven't invented oh, yeah. in some years. Um, oh, yeah. And, and so I personally, the entrepreneur me, big up all the people behind Uber who got it started, do what you do. So with that being said, you're only as good as your troops. No general is better than his troops. And if your troops are being treated like shit, if your troops ain't eating, if your yeah. troops can't afford gas, then you can't be too great of a general. That's a reflection on how you taking care. You feel me? Times are hard for a lot of people out there and a lot of businesses. And, you know, unfortunately, the hospitals, Uber, they're all, you know, fighting for what they feel like they deserve. And, you know, the, I guess the biggest question is, yeah. yeah, I guess the biggest question is where are they going to pull the money from? Because if they raise Uber is already insanely expensive. Right. I'm talking $16 to go about two, three miles. So right. and then like if you want an XL truck or something nice, it right. gets even more expensive. So right. if you raise the, the, the if you hike the fares double by double. You're going to lose a lot. And all the old livery cabs and the days of flagging a cab in the street. Oh, they're going to come back real quick because all them old dudes. I mean, there's still stands. There's still bases around. You just you, nobody uses them like that. I don't know of anybody who's driving Uber happily. Me either. <laughs> it's the type of job you have when you need to make a couple of dollars. Yeah. You, to, you know, you ain't going to be vaccinated and all other shit. You ain't going to deal with no people. I don't know if nobody that said, man, I'm so glad I get to wake up and have these strangers in the back of my car today. <laughs> so everybody, yeah. Uber already in and of itself is kind of like working the White Castle's midnight shit. Like, fuck. All right. I guess. Goddamn. Yeah. All right, y'all. Like I said, make sure you go to Coffee Time Comedy on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you can watch videos and check us out. Peace, y'all. Well, uh, be safe.